Gambari Super Strikers combines tactical RPG with a soccer game. But is this one going to score the winning goal, or should we just strike this one from the records? Gambari Super Strikers is a tactical RPG that thankfully isn't too complicated. There's a nice tutorial to get you into the game with its basics, and once you're in, it really doesn't take long to kind of get a feel for how the game works. The game features two main modes, Arcade and Story Mode, and the Arcade Mode is more of an exhibition mode, where you're able to pick from the team, set up some rules, as well as play against another human if you like. It's local only though, no online. The Story Mode has you creating your team from a small selection of choosable options, as well as create your main player. It's nice that they included this and gives you a little bit more of a personalized feel, but there's a limited amount of options for sure. Once you've created your team, the Story Mode itself is broken up into 14 different matchups, with 7 taking place in Japan as you work your way around to become the best team in Japan, and then you take on the world with the World Cup type team. The teams are different between them as it's 7 vs 7 in the Japan part, and 11 vs 11 in the World Cup-esque part. The matchups themselves take place over two 20 minute halves. Each turn, yours and the opponent's takes away one minute off the clock. Each turn, every one of your players is able to do two actions. There is either just moving around, dribbling immediately past an opponent as they're trying to steal it from you, passing the ball, or shooting the ball. There's also skills that you'll unlock a little bit into the game that you can use as well, and they're based on the different categories such as pass or shoot. Each character has their own stats, and as you complete matchups, you'll earn experience and level up. You're also able to equip items onto each one of the characters. There's two equipable item slots. These will allow you to either increase certain statistics, or they give you a new skill once you have them equipped for a while. That's how you end up unlocking a lot of the new skills in the game. To earn these items that you're able to equip, you must complete the objectives during the story mode missions. For winning matchups in the story mode, you'll automatically get one star, but to get the two and three star ratings, you'll have to do other objectives like use certain skills, don't use any skills, or shut out the opponent. The AI in the game is okay, it likes to do the same things over and over again, and once you find a strategy that works, it will pretty much continue to work without fail. I never really had too much problem scoring goals in the game, and most opponents weren't too much trouble. Presentation-wise, I think the anime style fit well here, though I do wish there were some more stadiums to look at. There's a decent variety to the types of characters that you get to play and play as, but I wish there was more else going on in the different arenas that you get to play these matchups in. From the technical side of things, I didn't run into any problems as far as glitching or crashing of any sort. Gambari Super Strikers is available on the PS4 for $9.99. It's cross by with the PlayStation Vita, and it does feature a platinum trophy. The game's also out on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PC. Overall, while I had fun with Gambari Super Strikers, and it reminded me of some great games like the Captain Tsubasa series or the Inazuma 11 series, it was just missing something keeping it from being great. With everything said, though, I'm going to be giving Gambari Super Strikers on the PS4 a 7 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though. I'd like to thank you for watching and of course, I hope you enjoyed.